Well, I'm not sure anyone predicted that. All four teams at risk of getting relegated, winning, including our beloved Rovers, who grab an away win at Champions Leicester. 2-0 with Super Sammy grabbing the goals. No one expected it, especially me. I thought my, our future was going to be in the whole game. Um, but I'm just glad we kept it in our hands elsewhere. Everyone was winning. The goals were going in. And it didn't seem like it was going to work for us. We were just slightly above the relegation area at one point when Blues took the lead. And whilst we're so annoyed that we're even in this position, we did it our way. We went and got the goals. We got the job done. What a crazy day. So let's get into the first 11. So straight off the bat, we had some illnesses. So um, Dom Hyam didn't start. So we had pairs in goal. Uh, Carter, McFadgen and Pickering with Britton and Criseni as the wing-backs. Tronstad and Ranky Costello with Schmodix in behind Dolan and Gallagher. Dolan seemed to actually come across left uh, a little bit more today. But yeah, it was it was a team where when I when I looked at the starting lineup, we knew we'd go for that five where the wing backs could come in. I felt like we actually went at them a lot more than I thought we would. We had quite a few chances uh, in the first half, but for me, Leicester just didn't really look like they cared, and I liked it that way. I thought they were going to go for those hundred points, um, but yeah, we we just did well to stifle them. I think. Um, Pairs going going through the uh, first eleven now. Pairs had a really good game, uh, made some really good saves, a cracking save uh, from Winks onto the bar, uh, a real crucial point. Carter, McFadden, they they were very solid. I thought Pickering had a good game. I thought he was um, he was really good at coming in at that left centre back role. Britain. Britain's been so up and down all season, but I thought he had a good game. I mean, um, whoscored.com has him as a 7.7, which is actually quite high for him. Um, but I thought he did well. Tron Stads, yeah, he, he, he did his role. I thought he was he was a solid probably 6 out of 10. But Ranka Costello got himself an assist. Um, he took a nice professional foul for the yellow as well. Uh, dragging back, I quite like that. Well, it was holding on to the ball, I quite like that. Chris Senny, yeah, probably, well, he's going to have played his last game for Rovers on loan. Um, he wasn't exactly, you know, lighting it up, but he did his job. I'll get to Schmodix in a minute. Uh, Dolan on the left wing. Uh, yeah, I thought, I thought Dolan did okay. Still a bit too much dancing. Would like him to simplify his game. But when you're coming up against a good side, you know, that that's, you know, it, it's going to be hard for him. Sam Gallagher, they've rated him 7.5 here. Has he played his last game for Rovers? Put down in the comments whether you think he has. He's had such a frustrating season. He there were, he missed chances again today. He had some opportunities, but good good job we got Sammy Schmodix two goals. Just the calmness of him to come through. That first goal, he, he was under loads of pressure. You know, for that to come and to have these defenders chasing him down. I just thought it was a fantastic finish. Really, really good. Really showed his quality. And then the counter-attack at the edge of the area. Leicester are really pushing for that equaliser. And the lads did so well to soak it up. And the ball just exploded through from, you know, about 30 yards out of our own goal. And Schmalich to go all that way, took it past the keeper and actually then celebrate while running through. Iconic goal for us, that one. It's made sure that we've stayed in this league. Whether we deserve it or not is another thing. I thought the general play today uh, was to soak it up, very similar to the Leeds one. But I did feel like we got our chances. I mean, looking at it, we we had nine shots uh, in total. They had 14. I was quite surprised, actually, we, we did what we did. But great to get that 2-0 win. There's a lot of people been messaging me saying we stole the win. Well, if we stole it, that's great. I'll take that. Um you know, looking at the other games, it was it was just one of those where we're all looking at the results coming in and all the scores. And you know, Blues getting there, getting their win at Norwich. I didn't see that. I thought that was going to be a draw, but Plymouth getting their one at Hull, that is a fantastic result for Plymouth. I did not expect that. I thought Hull were going to be the ones uh, getting the result for us, and we all knew Sheffield Wednesday were going to beat Sunderland, but. Blues fans, obviously there's a lot of my family, you can tell by my accent, I'm from the Birmingham area at the moment, uh, well, I'm actually from Lancashire, but living in the Birmingham area, hence why I have this Brummie accent, which I can't stand, but that's another thing. 
fantastic for me to see blues go down with all the in-laws and mates around me um, I've had so much abuse and I've absolutely lapped it up it's been brilliant but you know Rovers we, we fell well below our expectations of the season you know 19th is not good enough we was expecting somewhere between 10 and 15th uh, not necessarily pushing for playoffs, but definitely not being in a relegation fight. Everything that's gone on this season uh, has been a bit pathetic, to be honest, uh, with the JDT stuff when he ended up leaving. John Eustace, was he the right appointment? That's another question for another day. Um, you know, JDT started the season so well. Eustace has ended it. It's, it's just not been good enough. But however you feel about the manager, the situation, the owners, the players... Whatever, put some comments down below. You know, I'll put it, put the comments on the post on X about how relieved you are. What needs to be done to stop this happening again? You know, how much is Sam Schmodix actually worth? I mean, two more goals today against an extremely good side away. He's, he, there's going to be people looking out for him. You know, we'll be recording the pod on Monday. It's out Tuesday. You know, where we'll break everything down. We've got loads of questions. So stick some questions in the mailbag as well. Um, we want it to be more positive. We've had a very negative mailbag over the last few weeks, and I completely understand. But we want this podcast to be a little bit more positive this time. So nice positive uh, questions for us down below. But make sure you like and subscribe and tune in, and have a great bank holiday. Um-